Hey you guys, it's Sunday night and it's time for a Sunday night live with October Dragonfly. That's me, your host tonight, uh, Christine, uh, with our little tiny co-host, Lillian. Yeah, what's up? Hey, run upstairs and get my other ring light. Um, we're going to have co-host of Kaz. He will be in in just a few moments and we'll be adding the guest and then I have a special guest tonight a new one for tonight and we are going to make our own homemade butter guys yes we are making it all the way from scratch what hello hello I see you there let's see that's a uh, Janet Paula 127 I see you give you a little shout out and uh, I'm just waiting for Kaz there he is welcome to food talk tv and um what the good times roll <laughs> Because, you know, it's always like a test kitchen here, and sometimes it's chaos. <laughs> Hi, hey guys. There. Can you hear me? Okay. I hear you fine. So, I want to make sure that I'm going to um, turn the volume up because you know how it is. All right. So, um, what I'm going to be doing tonight is, um, first thing I'm going to be doing is walking over here to my refrigerator and getting out some yogurt on the floor. <laughs> some heavy whipping cream thank you, thank you i have my assistant to go get the yogurt off the floor thank you so um this is a 32 ounce container of whipping cream there's also a, a random metal bowl in the freezer so um i'm using a stand mixer guys i'm going to show you what kind of a setup i've got here and we'll go from there all righty hey andrea, hey, andrea. hi hi janet hi, paula andrea. 127 Susie knight 378 so this is my stand mixer, which, uh, yeah, I need the bowl. Thanks. Um, this is my stand mixer. I am using my whisk attachment. Uh, Lillian's getting my bowl. And I have to tell you the little story about how I got this, um, the stand mixer. Um, I contacted a guy on um, Facebook Marketplace. That's right. And we drove to a sketch part of town and I got her for $200, but she's mine now. Um, so you can see that this is kind of frosty web. on the side. Yeah, the dark web. Um, I had this in the freezer for about 30 minutes prior to me starting this. It will thaw out. I just like to start with a cold bowl. It's not necessary, but your at least your heavy whipping cream does have to be cold. And I'm just using the, you know, spare no expense, the great value for you guys. So okay. here we are. Hi, Erica. I see you just popped in. So we're going to make butter tonight. So I'm going to start Eight with... Popping you guys right up here. And the reason I'm doing this is so you can see it in real time. It's really Deanna gonna happen. Smith. So, Deanna Smith, that's my friend. I met her in real life. It's kind of cool. So, we're just gonna give her a little shake, not necessary. It just makes me feel better. <laughs> and the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to pour in the heavy whipping cream you guys if you just got right, here she's making butter she's gonna make butter fresh oh, butter you get some light shed some light on this subject over here guys can you hey, see that Chris pretty good Kaz? yes yeah. hey christy compton thank you for coming into the live Hello, you're everybody. awesome all right so this is 32 ounces of heavy whipping cream i use the whole entire thing um, I could probably zoom out just a smidge, maybe a little, maybe if it'll let me. No, nope, it won't. All right, because I'm on the other camera. So now we're going to lower this head in here. This is uh, locked in. Make sure you lock it because if you don't, it's going to get okay. crazy. And you're going to start on your lowest setting, which you can see I just made butter the, the other day. So it's kind of got some splashed up on it. Start on the lowest setting. And then you're going to slowly slowly guys go to the higher setting because what happens kaz if you just go and get crazy and put it on the highest setting uh what happens it, is what happened it, to me and during cooking club it was all over the kitchen <laughs> all over the kitchen yes it was everywhere <laughs> so there you go and jesse say just hey is in the house hey hey jesse how are you Love to see all of you guys joining in. Thank you so much. So we're making butter. It looks like not much right now. So it's just 32 ounces of the heavy whipping cream here. So 
right. And we're and waiting for and this takes probably. We're waiting for Taylor Rose to come in. Yes, is she in here yet? Uh, I don't know. I can't see, see from my side. Oh, gotcha. So, guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. We go live every day. These are our Sunday night lives. We go live every Sunday night and every other day. So, please give us a follow. Hit the bell to be notified. And tap the screen, guys. Tap the screen. Oh, she okay. said um, she will not be in tonight. I just got that message. Oh, oh okay. So that's okay. Um, does anybody else want to go into the box tonight? Because um, we can have more than one. Guys, I'm notching it up to six. And let me show you where I'm at on that. So I'm just, hey. I went from four to six. It is splashing a little. They do make a cover that goes over the top of this. Um, I just don't have it. But I don't mind a little bit of splash. We're going for... A whip a whipped cream level. Alrighty. And the next ingredient, um, I wait till this gets a little bit thicker, is salt. I'm just using some can you guys see that? The iodized Morton sea salt, but use whatever salt you got. I'm using about um, a tablespoon for this 32 ounce. Now if you want more salt in your butter please do add more salt to your butter yes i do add salt and i will add salt here in just a like a little minute see how it's getting thicker that's now i'm going to add the salt now you guys um this much of my hand i know is a tablespoon of salt um but you guys can use actual measuring spoon uh cast oh here we are Right. Let's go. Try to get cans back in here, guys. All right, we're just going to watch this. Woo. We'll pull back off that in a little bit. Yes, tap the screen, guys. I appreciate that. Now we're going to go. Yeah, you're almost at the whipped cream. All part. the way. Yep, we're almost to whipped cream. Only well, getting a spatula, please. Oh. Here's a small one. My sister Benita is in. Hi, Bonnie. All right, guys, keep watching because it will turn right before your very eyes. So I'm just gonna dip this in here. I suggest not doing this, but here I am. That is whipped cream. That is the whipped cream stage right there. So if you guys want to stop right here and just add your flavoring and have some delicious whipped cream, please do. But we're going to butter. We're going to go all the way with it. So guys, you can make two recipes out of this actually. You can make whipped cream, go a little bit further, and you make butter. That? That's some salty whipped cream. Don't taste that, guys. It's salty. <laughs> wow, that was quick. And guys, I went uh, and I started, I started way down here and we just slowly moved it up because we didn't want to splash it everywhere. And like I said, they do have a splash guard for this sand mixer. Oh, here, I got somebody requested. Jessie. Hi, Jessie. She's one of our newest creators, guys. Give her a follow. Also give Kaz a follow. Give myself a follow. I'm trying to get to 50,000 before my 50th birthday, um, which is in October. So, so yeah, Kimmy is asking if you're gonna if you're gonna put any uh, garlic or chives in there. We will be making two different compound butters. Okay. Yes. So I'm gonna Hi, be Jeff. making one with honey Italian and one with Italian. Okay. So I can't hear a lot, so just to let you guys know, that's why I'm talking really loud. <laughs> I'm an so October baby too, and so is um, Andrea. Oh yeah, we're okay, all October so, babies. 
So this is the part that always gets me because I only made butter for the first time uh, last week for cooking club. And I'm looking at whipped cream and I'm thinking it's just going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. What's the big deal? But all of a sudden it becomes butter, just like, just like that. I'm like, okay. what? I looked at, I looked away and missed it. Yeah. You get sprayed with that no, guys, if buttermilk if shower. <laughs> yes. It's a share. Yeah, Cass took a whole buttermilk shower, I think. Yeah, <laughs> my entire kitchen. Because I used a half gallon in that uh, four-quart bowl. And yeah, it was all over my kitchen. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Just start with the three two ounces, guys. That's it. <laughs> yes, I did add salt. I added, it's okay, it's it's going to come together, don't worry. I added oh, the, the um, iodized sea salt. So it is definitely, oh my gosh, thank you for the butterfly. Ooh. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> you can stand over here if you want to. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. So okay. I'm thinking we're almost right at the point where I, where okay. it's going to turn it's into butter just magically. Guys, It'll, pay off. Yep. It'll happen before you realize you know, it. There is a payoff here. This is not the maple syrup situation. <laughs> oh, yeah, the maple syrup situation. Speaking of that, where's Lillian? Is she uh, making butter too? <laughs> <laughs> She's just waiting to She's eat like, it. Don't talk about. She literally is, but she was like, "Don't <laughs> remind me about the maple syrup, please." How do you know when it becomes better? You, um, you'll have to stick around and find out. It'll become kind of clumpy. It'll look like it doesn't. It's not edible. It'll look weird. <laughs> That's the also best way the, to describe um, it. Also the. Uh, the buttermilk will separate like magic. Yep. Yes. I know. I wish this had a higher speed, but it does not. You just gotta keep going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Lillian. <laughs> it's kind of, hard once the cream breaks down, the butter will form. Right. It's hard not to stick your finger in and there when it's the cream. And now it's like. My love pup pickles. She is making butter. I'm making butter. Love my pups and pickles. I love that name. That's cute. <laughs> but yeah, we're, it's almost like. Watch, Lily. You can go ahead and start your biscuits if you want. We'll catch up with you in just a minute. Um. No, we gotta get normal. Sorry. So see how it looks like it's getting flatter. It's almost there, guys. Promise you, it's gonna happen. So, Jesse, it's a surprise to have you, and we thought we were you were gonna be out of pocket the entire weekend. I just got home. I was on a little trip to the Great Wolf Lodge with my kids for the weekend. Fun. Yep. So we were swimming and playing and. I just landed. Just got home. I would figure you would need a um, you would need a a chance to relax after you get uh, have a big weekend like that. You know, I I was just lounging, doing absolutely nothing until I heard the chimes. Ding ding! Come hang out with Kaz and Christine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. Oh, it's coming together. It's just mesmerizing. It's so close. To you yeah, guys, share the live. Tap the screen. We're trying to get her up to 10,000 lives so we can get on the, um, oh, thank you so uh, on the FYP. Um, no, I went to the Great Wolf Lodge in Grand Mound, Washington. It definitely is getting thicker. I just got a little, like a little smidge of it. You can kind of tell already it's almost like a whipped butter at this point yeah. it's pretty good too 
I'm just waiting for the uh, buttermilk to come out of it, which is, oh my gosh, it's so almost there. So, Kimmy, so her name is Jesse. Say hey. Slides. Oh, I think so you're. Um, to the slides, we have quite a bit of uh, difference between the liquid that I poured in here and what we started with to now. It's turning into butter. That looks absolutely vile. Lillian says everything <laughs> looks vile. <laughs> By the way, she also doesn't like no, ma'am. She also doesn't like cinnamon, so. Yes. Oh, guys. Okay. I don't want you guys to miss the where it breaks down. So I'm like, I don't want to go away. But Lillian's making uh, some little, some biscuit biscuits, like something super simple. I love like, you guys are literally watching me make butter right now. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. I'm waiting for you to get splashed here. We're in the splash zone. Oh yeah, you guys are yeah. in the splash zone. <laughs> we should have our um, uh, trash bags ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. It's like it almost like foams up and then it kind of flattens out and then it separates. And we're at that point now, like where it's flattening out. You got a lot of stuff up mm -hmm. on the side there. Say what? You got a lot of uh, cream there on the side. Oh, look, it's separating. Oh, yeah. I've been scraping it down. I've been trying to scrape it down. I'm afraid to get back there, though. <laughs> yeah, I can see it's, sep it's separating now. Yep. Oh yeah. I was like, I just, there, there it is. Oh yeah, it's coming. Okay, look, this stuff on the side is starting to get sucked into the liquid. Yep. It's getting there. Okay, I'm going to stop this for just a minute. We're going to take a look at it because it looks like it's pretty good. Like at the level I like it anyway. Oh, I got her locked in. All right. Oh, yeah. We are there. Where, where's the butter so if you guys milk? look at this, it's down there. Don't you worry. Okay. We could go just a little bit longer. I have to squeeze it out. I have to squeeze it out. So I could probably go a little bit longer, but um, I'm not. I'm going to leave it this way, and I'm going to squeeze out the buttermilk. So okay. you guys will see what happens next. Do you this have a tripod? Is, trust me. We'll be fine. Do you have a tripod? I'm on it now. <laughs> okay. I'm on my tripod right now. Yep. I was I was moving around because I was trying to get you guys as close as I could to the action. Okay. So we're gonna go we in got, here. Of course, I just slung nails this week. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just did. I. It's funny because I usually do them right before my lives. <laughs> I yeah. They were purple yeah. last live. Now they're pink. Mm -hmm. I actually yep, bought the nail kit that you uh, told me to buy. <laughs> The Beatles. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Okay. Awesome. All hey, of my uh, popped <laughs> off at the water park. So <laughs> it happens. So here's what we have. And if you look in here, there'll be pockets of buttermilk. Like right there is some buttermilk. Can you see that a little bit? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to just pop this right in here. And it's going to be a soft butter this time. It'll be a soft butter, which I'm okay with easily spreadable and, oh yeah plus we're going to squeeze a lot out of it okay right. hi Nate. Oh, hi. Hi. all right let's see sorry i know i'm like right in the camera space but oh my gosh that's a lot that, that is a heap of um, I, I don't rinse mine, but um, some people do, and that's fine. Um, some people like to, um, after this process, they like to go. So here's where you get the buttermilk. Oh, yeah. Let me get over here. Pouring it out. This is super satisfying, by the way. I have a question. How do you clean your cheesecloth? 
in the washer. Sometimes things get on it like that too, but yeah, I, so this is actually um, what they call a butter cloth. So it's a cheesecloth, but it's a, a higher thread count muslin. Yeah, I was going to say it looks like a that muslin makes sense? cloth. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's just higher thread count than a normal like cheesecloth. Cause I, I did get a lot of comments on that and I was like, what are you talking about? And I didn't realize that it was, it, when I purchased it, that it actually is what they call a, they refer to as a butter cloth. So, so, all right. Hey, Lily, can you run upstairs to my craft room and grab another one of these? Hi, Taylor. Oh, Taylor's in the comments. Hey, Taylor. Taylor is one of our newest creators. Um, she goes under the name of Ketchup is Garbage. Get that little piece of butter there. You guys tap on her little profile and give her a follow. Yes, please and thank you. And you said you were making compound butter today? Yes, so compound butter, super easy. And I am slinging buttermilk everywhere, guys. Compound butter is like the easiest thing to make. After you make butter, you literally just add whatever you want to it. And it is compound butter. Compound just means more than one ingredient. Thank you. All right, so Lillian had to go get me another um, cheesecloth because this one is quite damp. So we're gonna come out of this one and go into the other one. And you can see, see how it's it's butter, guys. I made butter. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So yes, you, you can go all the way down to where it literally separates so crazy. It almost looks like curds, but you don't have to. Okay, I'm going over here on my mat, my dish mat. And swap out so, for just a second. so how much buttermilk did you get out of that um probably probably about two cups okay so oh. i'm just swapping here guys i'm just swapping this is my butter ball ashton is in she butter says bowl. it looks delicious thank you all right so next just put it into a new cheesecloth you can mold it around a little bit you can break it apart that's fine if you actually do that it will probably get a little bit of more of the buttermilk out um, just because you're breaking it up a little bit right all right so i'm just going to give it a little squeezy squeeze and there might not be much left in here but that is not true there actually is quite a bit left in here just yeah. give it a twist Taylor says it looks uh, pretty angry. Right. Yes, it is. Now, guys, I will tell you 100%. Um, this is a little time consuming. Um, it's It takes about 30 minutes to make butter. Um, so if you don't have 30 minutes and you're just trying to whip it up real fast, it ain't going to be it. That's not it for you. Go get you some store-bought. It's okay. <laughs> Nobody's going to judge you for that. But um, here's our buttermilk. Three on super sale that's the smartest way to do things though for sure okay for sure. so um we have a qu we have a question in the comments how do you store it and how long does it last okay so um i keep my so first of all it doesn't ever last that long for about a month it'll last for about a month maybe longer um but once you make it um you're kind of on the time clock of you know, do you leave your butter on the counter? Or do you leave your butter in the refrigerator? If you refrigerator it, you got a month. If you do not, you probably have less time. If you have teenagers in your house, good luck. So, <laughs> so basically, the, the answer to the question is how long does your how long does butter last in your refrigerator? That's how long About it lasts. How long does it last on your counter? That's how long it lasts. <laughs> Actually, it, it should be 30 days, but it's probably longer than that, actually. If it's, um, so this one is just a regular ultra pasteurized. So it doesn't matter if it's regular pasteurized, ultra pasteurized. It's all about the milk fat that's in here. You have to have heavy whipping cream. I, it doesn't matter anything else. It has to be heavy whipping cream. It will not work with milk. It will not work with 2%. 3%, 1% whole milk. No, has to be heavy whipping cream. No half and half either, it won't work. So, all right, I'm gonna swing y'all around right over here. 
to my other situation where Lillian is currently making some biscuits. And Lillian, if you would just scoot yourself right over here. I'm actually going to mold some. Uh... Oh, I thought that's what you were going to say. Oh my God, it's going to be so cute. Yes. <laughs> Um, Lillian's making biscuits. Here's her biscuit dough she's making. Just some bis quick biscuits. Um, here's some parchment paper because you definitely need that. To... Are you rolling your biscuits out? Yeah. Okay. Oh Maybe? All right. So here's my buttermilk. Here's my butter and my cheesecloth. All right. Now some people, and like I know like there's videos out there that they use those little wooden paddles and they get all crazy with it and pat it around okay those are professionals i'm not that <laughs> not that yeah. i say that as if the professionals do that in their own home too they totally don't <laughs> it's just because they're trying to sell it so um literally just putting some little butters in here and it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. And yes, it will sweat out because I didn't squeeze it probably long enough. Sometimes I'll let it sit after I've squeezed it and even more buttermilk will come out. Um, I mean, probably I'd say 30 minutes or so you could let it sit. But, you know, in the, in the what is it, the, to save some time tonight, we're just going to go with it. I missed it. Do you salt this butter or is it unsalted? This is salted. Um, now, can you make unsalted butter exactly the same way that I just made it? Yes, you can. It does take longer for it to come together. The salt does help stabilize the cream a little bit more. And that's why people are like, you have to add salt. No, you don't have to add salt. It just takes a terrible longer amount of time, like maybe 10 minutes. It's not, it's not really that long. But anyway, so I am going to get a butter Leah spreader. From, Leah says hello from down under. Hello, hello. That's kind of cool. I love that. All over. So I'm just gonna just even these up just to make them look pretty. You know, nice presentation, guys. And, uh, and then we're gonna pop them in the fridge. Yes. I was just gonna answer that question for you. What's that? Uh, the question was, do you refrigerate it after you put it in the molds? Oh, yes, I'm going to refrigerate it. So I'm just going to block this off with my cheesecloth. <laughs> That's what it's for, right? All right. And uh, I know a lot of people ask about the cheesecloth because theirs are maybe thinner because that's actually a cheesecloth. This is more of a butter muslin. Okay. All right. So there's one. And we're going to make a mermaid tail. This is actually just like one of those little molds that you get for icing or whatever, for fondant. Did, okay, I still got everybody there. Fondant. Kinda, oh, you so fancy. I'm like down here. What the heck? Y'all couldn't even see what I was doing. Okay, y'all need to let me know. No, you were fine. Yeah. You were just in the comments. Okay. We just had okay. to. <laughs> <laughs> So you're worth you're worth the effort, okay? Okay, thanks, thanks, guys. <laughs> like sometimes these break, okay, and it's okay. I'm gonna put her in the freezer, though. I'm gonna pat her dry, pat her dry. Okay, and give her a little scrape. Thanks for visiting today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. So there is that. So we have two little butter molds. We're going to put them in the fridge. We'll see those at the end of the line. All right. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So maybe we can ask Lillian why she hates cinnamon so much. <laughs> yeah, Lillian, did, what did your mom food. do to you that made you decide that you were never going to enjoy cinnamon? Ever so, again. Basically. What happened was during quarantine, I made these oh. cinnamon sugar um, little bite things mm -hmm. out of like Pillsbury dough. They were pretty good. They tasted so good. But after that, it just made me like just thinking about eating them made me just sick to the stomach. Like 
I never wanted to eat cinnamon again after that. She did too much. I feel like she did. She overdid it. So. And so now, now I hate it. Okay. okay so you ate enough cinnamon to last you the rest of your life. That is what you're saying. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I, feel I like guess. I can still taste it to this day. Oh. Gosh, that's <laughs> serious, guys. I, don't, I it, never knew that. So. It, I mean, it tasted good. It tasted good, but it just, I don't know. It changed something in my brain. <laughs> something changed that day. Okay, so this butter right here, I'm leaving plain. Um, you don't have to mold it. You can if you want. Here, I'll mold it for you guys. There you go. It sounds like it's me and Jägermeister, you know? He used to love it, and then one day <laughs> something <laughs> changed. <laughs> something changed. Yes, your brain chemistry <laughs> changed, <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> oh, my God. Your frontal, your frontal uh, lobe developed, okay? <laughs> all right. So, usually when I'm washing my cheesecloths, um, I, so first of all, um, I use like very little detergent. I use like a tablespoon of detergent in my wash anyway. And I use vinegar as my, um, um, fabric softener. So pretty much everything is rinsed out and I don't use dryer sheets. So wait, they should vinegar be fine. Is a, but if you are worried about, did, did you yes. say that vinegar um, is a fabric so, softener? It is. It is the best fabric softener. You do not smell it in your clothing. I know everybody's like, oh my God, it smells like vinegar. And no, it doesn't. It actually does not smell like vinegar and it will actually clean your washer as you're doing your laundry. So we have a question here. There you go, can little you, known fact. Can you yeah. store your butter in a mason jar? Absolutely, yes. In fact, that is my favorite way to store it. I have so many mason jars. Wasn't in fact, you got me excited butter? asking that question. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we were gonna have Lily and shake some butter, but um, just for we're lack of time at this point. Do you want to still shake some butter? No. I mean, okay, she's not about it now anyway, so there's that. <laughs> I'm too tired. <laughs> okay, so what am I adding here? This is butter and this is italian seasoning this is one that i make it has garlic onion it has the original like um italian seasoning that you get from the store which i think has oregano basil parsley whatever that is so it's just a regular can of the um italian seasoning then i add um onion garlic and sea salt oh okay. and lemon a little lemon zest like Okay. So that's all this is, okay. and I'm just mixing so, this in. So I still have another uh, non-butter question for, for myself, uh, because uh, Taylor says that she uses a tablespoon um, uh, vinegar, and she saves money. When do you put vinegar in? Because you put it in the fabric Because I use software. dryer sheets, so I know you don't put it in the dryer. No, you put it in the washer in your fabric softener cycle or in your fabric softener compartment. Yep. Now you guys know. Now you know my secret. <laughs> oh no. my gosh, guys, I'm going to end up on laundry talk. I'm going to have to make a video. <laughs> yeah. All right. I know. So like, that what? Italian herbed butter we just made. Cool. Okay. Uh, next, we are making the, where did it go? This one's obviously mine. <laughs> so it's cinnamon and this is why I know it's mine because she will not touch it. So I'm putting about, I don't know, a tablespoon of cinnamon in there. And this is, I think these are a cup. So that's about a half a cup of that butter I just made. And okay. then about a tablespoon of honey. Now, if you want to use regular honey, but I'm using keto honey, which is, I'm sure, some kind of a chemical, but whatever. All right. Even they made keto honey. Learn something new over day. There it is, guys. There it is. Keto honey. Uh, Chalk Zero makes this one. I'm like, I don't know what's in it, but it tastes like honey. It actually tastes more like maple syrup to me. But, yeah. 
Thank you for the gift, Taylor. And I'm sorry, Karen. I didn't I didn't see you when you came in. Hi, Karen. Hey, hi. Love to see Karen. This is gonna be very cinnamon. Mini Lillian would definitely hate this. 100 <laughs> percent I'm gonna add a little bit more butter to it. <laughs> she would be like, no, this is not for me. So she's actually making Lily, is your biscuits going in the oven soon? Oh, I thought you already preheated the oven. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Hello, Righteous Kitchen. Thank you for coming in. Hey, there, hey, hey there. Righteous Kitchen. Righteous Kitchen has a couple videos up on Food Talk TV, our channel. She has uh, 10 second yeah. videos or 10 second cooking school videos. That's right. I saw those. I was wondering who that was. And then I was like, I know that person. <laughs> we are mutuals. All right, so I'm just mixing this uh, cinnamon, honey, and the fresh made butter that I just made. If you guys missed out on that, it was at the beginning of this situation. All righty. So I think that's, you just mix it until you don't see any more of the white butter, basically. Nice. Now I want to smash that down there. Okay. The this is exactly why I was saying on sweet that. potatoes. Ooh, yeah. Mmm. Look, you can make it yourself. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put the lids underneath it so you guys can still see what I got going on here. All right. And then my regular butter, which I don't know where the lid is for this. So we're just going to move her down here. Next thing I'm going to make is um, something for myself. Lillian's making her little biscuits over here, which she's preheating the oven. There. There's her little biscuits that she made. They look like, like geodes, but okay. <laughs> She went with the drop biscuit. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So, I am the going to use some curb quick. Mm -hmm. That's so they are gigantic. <laughs> they do look awesome. I, I like to cut mine out, but drop there's nothing wrong with the drop biscuit. You know, there's a lot of nooks and crannies in there. Yeah. Okay, okay. kitchen shears. Goodness, I'm on the struggle bus today. All right. I'm gonna wipe this out. Lillian used yeah. my measuring cup. I didn't wipe it out. <laughs> oh, well. Taylor says that uh, right, Lillian's so biscuits are just rustic. That's all. They're just yeah. rustic. They, they are rustic. Yes. You know what? You guys are inspiring me to maybe want to do some of that, but I want to do some just right here. All right. So, one cup of the carb quick to. Get my other measurement cup. How much liquid does it say to put in here? Two thirds. So this is one third. So we're going to do two of this. Um, of the buttermilk, we're not wasting this. We're using this. So we're going to take one before in here. So instead of water, we are going to use the buttermilk. So it's two thirds of a cup. Ooh, that's going to give it some great flavor. Yes, hundred and ninety thousand percent. And, and the actually. the buttermilk is going to make the um, baking powder that's built into into the carb quick uh, react. Mm -hmm. So another okay. So it's two cups and two thirds. So all right. So there's that. We're gonna get this a mix together. Deanna, I'm wondering where you buy your carb quick at. Okay, so Deanna is close to me, so I'm gonna talk to her about the actual stores that carry it. <laughs> so it's at Walmart, first of all. Um, so every single time I go over to the Wa Milford Walmart, it is not there. I always find it at Red Bank Road Walmart. Um, sometimes the one up at Eastgate has it. So we have three Walmarts kind of close to us, and um, she knows where these places are at. So. Um, I found this one today. I ha actually had to go down to Red Bank Road to get it. And they had probably 10 boxes of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, do I buy? But I will tell you, this is $11 a box. It is not cheap. But these biscuits, I'm pretty much the only one that eats them. Jerry will. Um, the kids won't touch them. They're like, no. So but, is that um, the Walmart just past the intersection uh, up from the gas station? 
Um, yes. Are you talking about the the Red Bank Road? Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Yes. Yes, that's the one. Yep. She knows. <laughs> so no, that's great. I just, I'm, I just, I'm, made, I'm so I just made all that up. It's it's just general direction. I was like, there is a gas station. There is a gas station out there. There's a marathon. I was like, I'm dead with you, Kaz. I can't even. I was like, there's a marathon there. So yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Dead. You got me. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my card quick. I'll just take a little, and I use it like flour. So I just turn it out here. Maybe. You use it like very, very expensive flour. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. You can also use some almond flour or um, whatever kind of nut flour you have. Of. You can use it like that too. I know it's crumbly right now. It's fine. All right. Can you see? Oh yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing. It's yeah, like my light's in a weird spot tonight. Okay. But anyway, I'm just getting this in here. We're gonna just need some dough, guys. We've seen that done before. My dogs are whining in the background. There's they're singing opera, and I don't know why. Oh. Yeah. Why are you crying? Get your going there, I love it. Right. What is she making? Well, she just she started with a um, with a quart of uh, heavy whipping cream, and she made butter. And from that butter, she made a couple of count compound butters. The dark one on the uh, left is a cinnamon honey butter and on the right it has it has italian seasoning in it and the one at the top that looks like butter is Wait, butter, butter. <laughs> right is now butter. she's making some biscuits okay. mm -hmm. some and she's making low carb um, biscuits <laughs> lillian says that's a big biscuit mom <laughs> that giant one down south, we, we, we will call that a cat head biscuit. Yeah, that is a cat head for sure. I'm going to put your stuff in here. Uh, um, yeah, you can scoop this. Hey, Ray Lynn, thank you for coming in. Okay. You're good. Here, hang on. i got to help Lily get these into the oven. Sure. Uh, if you guys are just scrolling through, please give us a follow. We're Food Talk TV. We're a group of creators. We go live every single day, sometimes twice a day. And if you give us a follow, hit the little bell so that you can be notified uh, every time we go live. We go live different times. There's so many of us here that you're bound to like something that we cook. Thank you for the 10,000 likes. Somebody, right above me is Jessie Say Hey. Her, her show is going to premiere for the first time on Tuesday at uh, 5 o'clock Pacific, right? Yeah, 5 o'clock Pacific. Okay. I love it. I'm so excited for that. Um, I'll actually be off work, guys. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, so I'm just going to mail this dough up in the middle, give it a press out. Now, this is like, I should definitely make a 10-second cooking school about this. Um, when you're rolling out your dough, put another sheet of parchment on top and roll out your dough. Oh. That way. And you can do this. It doesn't stick to the rolling pan. Mm -hmm. You already got your little sandwich. There you go. And now I will keep that and use it again. Now. Okay. Do you guys think that I have a um a cookie cutter for this? I have cookie cutters for everything, but what I don't have is a round cookie cutter. But what I do have is a mason jar lid. Okay. <laughs> so you can use um whatever size you want. I'm going with the small mouth or the regular mouth lid for my biscuits tonight. So you just press them in there like so, like that. Now I made videos about all of this stuff all week. You can go over to my channel and check it out. It's at October Dragonfly. 
you can check out uh, my biscuits. I haven't posted my big biscuit video yet, but I have posted this little hack that I'm getting ready to show you. So there's my little biscuit and I'm putting it on my well-loved pizza stone. I always like to talk about my pizza stone because she looks like she's been beat up a little bit and she has been. She's an old Food Network one. She actually was this color at one time, but you know what happened to her? She got seasoned. Yeah, I was gonna she say that's a well-seasoned pizza stone. <laughs> It's a pizza yes, it looks, now. It looks good. <laughs> That's a perfect, perfect pizza stone. So I just gave it a little, like the lightest spritz of the um, oil because I did just wash this one. And um, usually the first wash afterwards, she gets a little, she gets a little crazy. Go back there. <laughs> All right. So anyway, just keep on cutting out your biscuits. What, what am I doing? I was a little backwards there. Alright. I'm just putting some biscuits over here. Lillian's already got the oven preheated for her stuff. So I'm just wadding this all back up. Put this back over the top. Yeah, I've got a question for you. I've got a question yeah. for you. Did the Bengals get everybody they, they wanted in the draft? not nobody ever gets everyone they want but we got a lot we did jerry do you okay. think we got everybody we wanted in the Bengals for the draft no. yeah that's what i said they no did, they, they did they did have a good draft um but no we did not get everyone we wanted is your oh, hubby's God, name jerry's not thing. funny in here no <laughs> no <laughs> no but it's Jerry, and Jerry so, sometimes thinks he's funny, but he's not. Somebody just popped <laughs> no. up, and I'm thinking, oh, that's either him or that's <laughs> you, one of your kids. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> that's funny, though. Hi. Okay, hi, Sally. Thank Christmas you for school. the gift. I always like to talk about this one. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we got this random piece of dough left we really can't cut out. So we're going to take our mold, my beautiful lid for the mason jar right here and I'm actually just going to press it in just like that and we don't have to cut anything we're just molding it in there just like so like that and boom perfect biscuit hey Tanya Langley you thank you for coming and in are... nice to see our food talk tv family perfect hi guys welcome, welcome. say what I said you didn't waste an ounce that way. That's right. You do not waste an ounce. So here are my biscuits. I made seven of them. I think it says that it's supposed to make ten. That is a lie. But this, I've got a couple that are a little thicker than they should be, but that's okay. So I'm going to go pop these in the oven. You guys take a gander at this beautiful butter that I made. And you guys can talk about that for a second. Hey, Jesse, why don't you tell us about your show a little bit? Yeah, sure. My show, uh, Getting Messy with Jesse, is uh, premiering on Food Talk TV um, this Tuesday at 5 p.m. It's all about trying TikTok trending foods that you might not have had a chance to try yet. And I'm trying them in real time for the first time. So I get to share my general and authentic opinion on if you should waste your time doing it or not. <laughs> I, for one, really am going to appreciate this show so much. So um, <laughs> back to this though, we have a regular lid. This is a different one. I have like 10,000 of them and a seal. And then we are going to get your little ball mason jar, which is so funny because I love everything ball mason. Just so FYI. And we're going to pour your milk in here. And you notice how it's thin and buttermilk's kind of thicker. We're actually going to loosely put this lid on the top. It's not tight, loosely. And we're going to leave it on the counter overnight. It will curdle and then we'll put it in the refrigerator and that will be the thicker buttermilk that you guys like. Okay? I, there you, you taught me something. Yeah. So it has to curdle in order for it to be actual buttermilk. You actually taught me multiple so. something. Oh, see, that's just my job. <laughs> okay, so now I need to make sure how long I'm supposed to bake these things for. 
um, 10 to 12 minutes with Lily and get this on six minutes. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we got buttermilk. We got the butter, compound butters. Let's make a beverage. So this is another ball mason jar. Like <laughs> I told you, I really appreciate the ball mason comment from earlier. Um, so if you go- I'm working go, on one too, so gotcha. <laughs> That's a lovely. Um, so this little mason jar, you can actually get these on the link in my bio. So if you go to October Dragonfly, you can go to the link, click it, go to Amazon. Um, and then it's in fun kitchen things. So I put all the stuff that I have on my lives in there. This is what I refer to as a sippy cup lid or in my case, an adult sippy cup lid. You can also use a straw in that. And this is just a regular uh, mouth lid. Okay, so enough of that. So I had a product I was going to test out today and I actually um I had to pre-test it out and it's this little dude right here oh it's called the rev mix. the rev mix now these um were over at Hobby Lobby for $24.99 in their little section they had them 90% off at the end of the season and for some reason this one got shoved to the back I got it for $2.49 so I was Word. like you know what I gotta buy it, right? Cause it looks like, oh my gosh, this looks like so much fun. So I was like, I'm gonna buy it and find out. So I washed it out and I was like, I wonder if this will crush ice. So I put some water in it to rinse it out cause you need to wash everything out whenever you purchase it. Um, it does charge by a uh, USB port by the way, and it is charged and ready to go. Um, but this indeed will not crush ice, but what it will do is strain your drinks it will mix your drinks and strain your drinks. It has a little strainer on top. But also I'm like, mm, what can I use this for? Well, you know what I'm gonna use it for. It's an adult beverage. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get some ice in my cup. You guys can check this thing out if you have any questions, let me know. That is not in anywhere in any links. Okay, so one of the questions here is, is the recipe available? All our recipes are at foodtalktv.com. Uh, right, there's a search box right on the front page. You can type in any ingredient and you can find everything that we've put up there. So, or if you wanna just uh, try the name of a recipe, you can do that too. Foodtalktv.com. All right, so next thing, I'm making, um, I make cold brew every day at work. So um, I wasn't gonna make some for you guys, sorry. But I'm just gonna pour my cup full of cold brew. This is a weekend morning drink, just to let you know. Uh, for the adults, that's why this is set to 18 and over. I'm just gonna pour some of that in there. I just wanna make sure I'm not overfilling. And then I'm gonna put some in here and we're going to mix her up and find out. Okay, shot glass. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna pour that back in here. Put that in there. Woo! All right, so about a cup, I yeah, guess. I was, and I then, was wondering how. It, so, so let me stop you, Christine. Uh, so you just poured that over the ice to cool it down. No, no, it's actually cooled. I just didn't know how much this would hold. So normally I would pour it just in here. So next okay. time I make this, I'm going to pour this halfway full of cold brew. I just didn't know because this is the first time that I've used this for this recipe. So I didn't want to, you know, listen, I was trying to prevent a kitchen fail. However, sometimes <laughs> y'all like to be seeing my kitchen fails. So I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, back to the program here. We're going to do a little. So that is about a cup of coffee, uh, iced coffee, one shot of Kahlua. Okay. And then one shot, which um, I don't know if you guys know or not, but Kahlua is rum and coffee liqueur. So it already has like a coffee flavor to it. This is the wrong lid for the wrong thing. All right. And then this is an Irish cream. And what is the difference between Irish cream and whiskey cream? Do you guys know? No. Nope. It's so simple. It's because it's from Ireland. <laughs> that is the difference. No, it's not a joke. It's the, I, mean, I mean, it is funny, but it is, it's, the seri it's serious. And there's also bourbon cream 
And do you know the difference between bourbon cream and whiskey cream? Kentucky. It's made in it's made in t Kentucky or Tennessee. Yes. Yep. That is a hundred percent it. That is it. See, I catch, and it's I catch on real quick. So, see, you got it. I know it's so funny though. It it is funny, but um, just double click that little sucker and it. So if I wanted to, that's yours, Lillian. Lillian's little here. Let me get my stuff out of the way so we can get your biscuits coming out the oven. Lillian says, "Look, I already made a mess here, guys." Just in case you guys so are looking Taylor for is okay. from Tennessee. From Tennessee, and she uh, notes in the comments that bourbon can be made any place in the U.S. But why is is uh, isn't uh, Kentucky bur bourbon the famous stuff? Oh yeah, look at that, oh, Lillian. Look, look at those rustic biscuits; they look beautiful. I want four of them. Or that only leaves you two, Lillian. She said no. <laughs> like that was the most mean girls no I've heard out of her ever. <laughs> oh. You can have she was like, mm, no. How are you gonna mail it to him? So then we're just gonna put um so look how frothy that is on top, by the way. Ooh, you know what this needs? You know what this needs, guys. Whipped cream. Yes. Or butter. Oh, yes, so <laughs> Like seven right now. Yeah. All right. Let's get a little straw. Um, a little straw, not a big straw. All right. Because um, I have two different sizes of these straws, and if you get a big one, it's, okay. it's way too much, man. All right. So Lillian, do you want to put some of that butter on there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Hang on here. So there's my beautiful drink. You can also see my. Don't look at my messy counter over there. That's where that's our hiding spot. You're hypnotized by that's the drink. Spot. Don't worry. It's okay, guys. That's my hiding spot. That's nowhere. Not really such a hiding spot anymore. <laughs> okay. We're so uh, cinnamon butter. So Lasha Digital Studio, yes. you're asking a question, and I don't really understand yes. the question because we we've, uh, we've done so many things. Maybe you could clarify. You, what is it? Do you have to use a vented lid when oh, storing oh, butter in the, the fridge? Butter. No, you do not. No, you do not. You can just put it in a regular situation. I'm tasting this drink, by the way. This butter's not cinnamon. That is amazing. Uh, you can't go wrong with this every single time. And it's, I mean, that's a good morning on a Saturday. Or Sunday, if you need it. <laughs> That's a morning yeah, beverage anyway. for someone with a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Sure is. And so this little thing is easy to wash. So I will. Oh, maybe. I got butter hands, guys. So anyway, I'm just going to tell you. This screws off and this screws off. So this whole thing can be washed. So that that's worth it to me. Like, just to... That frothed that up pretty good, too, I think. Um, is it an ice crusher? No, <laughs> it is not. But uh, that's all right. Um, Lillian, did you put butter on your biscuit? Huh? Yes, she did. Yep, she did. You taste your butter on your biscuit. <laughs> she's like, she's forgot what's going on here. You need to taste your butter on your biscuit. It needs to cool down. Oh, it's too hot. Do it for the TikTok, Lillian. Oh. <laughs> Do it for the people. Do it for the vine, Lillian. Like, well, Do I'm it like, for the vine. Just... Do it for the vine. Oh, there. I did get it off. Oh, sorry. Is it good? You can tell the truth. <laughs> well, come on. Oh, she God. made them. <laughs> I know. She made, of course they're good. <laughs> she but made the butter them. is the butter thing. She keeps eating it so i think that's probably yes i don't yeah, know yeah she's enjoying the butter <laughs> uh, yeah Plus, the butter is good yeah the biscuit's just plain lily it's just a biscuit <laughs> that's what the butter's for <laughs> but you know if you tried cinnamon butter no <laughs> <laughs> just no. I just know 
just now. Uh, Taylor is asking yeah. for you to repeat the name of the blender. Um, what I do with the container. It is the Rev Mix Handy Gourmet Rev Mix. You know, wait a minute. There we go. Handy Gourmet Rev Mix. I got it at um, Hobby Lobby. It's one of these little dudes. It was $24.99, but I only paid $2.49 for it because it was 90% off. It's got a rocket blender. It says Hobby Lobby right there from 2017, this label. So, but So it looks like a blend jet. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah. There's the packaging. It holds so 10 and a half ounces. It has a separate strainer, USB micro charger, LED on and off button, which it has all that. So for sure. All right. So I'm just waiting for my biscuits, you guys. Um, do you have any questions for me? Do you want to know anything? Um, I will tell you something that I do. Um, I'm adjusting my camera. Um, I actually work for the oldest handmade candy cane company, which is now the oldest candy cane company in the United States called Doshers. And we actually just started making candy canes this week. We are making candy canes for Christmas. You're like, oh my gosh, that's so far out. Yes, we have to make the candy canes for the nation. We have to make candy canes for all of Kroger and Kroger subsidiaries, uh, Sam's Clubs, as well as Costco. And any other mom and pop shop that wants to carry them and um, any other shop that would like to carry them. So it's a lot. Any questions? What's the name of the company again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just entranced, you guys. Um, Doshers, it's D-O-S-C-H-E-R apostrophe S candies, C-A-N-D-I-E-S dot com. <laughs> Just put, life is or sweet. you can go lisbrands. Uh, yeah, lifeissweet.com. You can do that one too. Lisbrands.com is another one that you can do. Um, by the way, this has been staring at me. It's really good. Uh, it looked so frothy. Also, it is. I mean, look at that. I did add a little whipped cream, but that is not what is frothy right here. That is that little blend jet thing did that. So, wow. you know, even though that it doesn't chop the ice up, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it an A minus. I'm going to, it's so good to prove it because wow. it does do some things that I do. Mm. Guys, this week I have a video coming up, maybe a couple videos. I had um, someone send me some bacon. Oh my gosh, guys, you do not understand the pure freaking joy when I opened up a box and it had three full packages of bacon inside of it. It was the most amazing thing. I was like, ah. <laughs> So from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Stoltzfus, that's S-T-O-L-T-Z-F-U-S uh, Meats, sent me three packages of bacon and one of them is cracked pepper bacon which is my absolute favorite thing and nobody makes it around here and i'm super excited and i don't even know what to make i'm like oh my gosh i have to make the greatest things with this so i don't know what to make first you guys got any suggestions bacon yeah. jam down below that'd be great that's my suggestion oh. bacon jam. So uh, so, guys, this is a little inside baseball, but uh, everyone on Food Talk TV has to uh, be familiar with a best practices manual. And uh, the last chapter of that manual it just has one word. In it. Did you read that one word, uh, Jesse? <laughs> it's bacon. I know what it is. <laughs> Oh, that's what I whispered. That's right. Loud <laughs> I said, no, it's fine. <laughs> yes, it is bacon. So hang on here. I'm going to put my little lid back on here. So I like hey, to put the Frank. little sippy cup lids on here. This helps keep from uh, little critters from getting in there. I'm just letting you know. You know, you know, if you're out in the country or even in the city, you know. Sometimes little bugs like to fly in your drink. 
or if you have a dog that likes to drink beer wherever he's at, <laughs> yeah. have a beer drinking dog. Hey guys, uh, so, okay, Frank, guys. Uh, Frank Strawner is in the comments. He has a new uh, a new channel, and it's um, uh, Kitchen Bear SF. If you guys can uh, remember that and go follow him on that, that would be awesome. Yes. Or you can follow his Frank Mentors SF if you like some um, some interesting content, which I enjoy always. So I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I appreciate it. So guys, this is my butter here just to, to show you. Um, this is my biscuits. They came out and um, they are beautiful, by the way. Look at that. Yes, they are. Beautiful. And yep. these, are, these are just little keto biscuits, man. They are great. And um, just put, you know what? I'm going for the cinnamon butter. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you saving it for Lillian? And, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. She's like, yes, please save me the butter, mom. Um, this is a the butter that I made. And then this is a compound butter that I made with cinnamon and honey. But in my case, I used a keto honey on this. And um, this is another one that I did, which actually I'm going to do this on this half. And I'm going to wipe that off and not put honey in the Italian seasoning. In the Italian seasoning. Yeah, that'd be weird. I don't know. Would that be weird? Might not be. I, We're gonna just. I think it would be weird, but a little bit. You're kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> I know I am, but you know it might be good. You know, you know what? You know you're a foodie when you just don't mind. You just don't mind, and you can just eat all the good food. It doesn't matter. That's because right. you know that's what brings us all. Together is the love of food, guys. It's literally that. Okay, so there are my um, two compound butters in action melting. So they're all good and melty. Mm. Oh my gosh, that cinnamon butter is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm getting a little napkin. I'm going to pull the camera back up here so you can watch me stuff my face if you're into that. <laughs> I, was like, I wouldn't have it anyway. All right, hang on. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. You gotta know if it's good. Oh, hold on. Got y'all all wonky okay, again. Okay, guys, we all are right. in the um, we're in the Lily, mukbang section of the show. <laughs> Lily, I need your help. Oh, hang on. Ah, there's there's Lillian running in for the rescue. I just need you to help them watch me eat. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so here we have. Look how melty that is. That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Like it's good and melty. So who knew that, um, you know, 32 ounces of heavy whipping cream could turn into this amazing mess. Mm. It looks like so much cinnamon. <laughs> so much cinnamon. <laughs> now, if you don't want to use honey, you can definitely, um, use uh, sugar in this like just a cinnamon sugar just equal parts probably a tablespoon of each lillian's face is super sad right now she does not enjoy watching me eat this it's more disgusted than sad <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> all right cinnamon i mean i'm sure it's she good cinnamon. we all know all right so I'm just... I'm just gonna spread this one out this is the um the italian seasoning I'm going to have to make a video about how I make my Italian seasoning because it's so easy to make um, and it's so yummy. It's just like a little bit of extra things that you can add to your regular Italian seasoning like onion and garlic and garlic salt and lemon zest and all the things that complement just about anything that you can make Italian. And um, if you, speaking of Italian food, if you like Italian food, follow Frank. He, he does a little bit more of the Italian fare. So anyway, here we go. So a savory biscuit. You want to buy this? Yeah. And mm -hmm. Italian seasoning automatically brings out the hand. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I made ricotta this week. I did not make it today, but um, I made ricotta this week as well. Um, that would be good sprinkled on top of this too. Mm. And guys, that's everything. That's everything I made for you today. Um, this is our mess. We'll be cleaning up afterwards.
<laughs> but yeah. we made keto biscuits. We made rustic bisquick biscuits. Um, I made, but what I really made was butter, guys. We used 32 ounces of heavy whipping cream and created a butter, which then I created into a um, cinnamon and honey butter, which I made this with uh, keto honey. And then I also made a Italian seasoned butter. And then also I made my, my drinky poo here, which is um, a cold brew coffee, cold brew coffee with a shot each of Irish cream, which I'm trying to line it all up here, Irish cream and Kahlua, put one shot of each of those. And then I use this little blender thing here, which does not blend ice, but mixes, um, mixes it up nice and frothy for you. Um, got that at the Hobby Lobby on sale. And um, this is what I created. Was this amazing mess. And guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much. Ricotta toast is trending. Okay, cool. Um, hope you guys have a good evening tonight. And thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for the 11 and 0.600 um, likes tonight. And thanks, Jesse. And thanks, Cooking with Kaz. Give them a follow. Also, follow myself at October Dragonfly. All right. Thanks, guys. Good night.